Google Analytics has proven that weight loss and type 2 diabetes are two of the top 10 highest searched items on Google in the past five years. And this analysis cannot be far from the truth. Today I am going to show you one magical but super simple hack you can easily do effortlessly at home to lose weight, reverse type 2 diabetes and bid goodbye to pills and insulin pumps. Are you ready for this one? Let's find out. Welcome to Ask AJC Health YouTube channel. On this channel we are 100% concerned about your overall good health, well-being and lifestyle. Feel free to visit our health and wellness blog and join our online community at Ask AJC Health website www.askajchealth.com and do not forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This will help with YouTube algorithms in showing you quality content such as this. Let jump right in. According to CDC, a little more than 37 million Americans live with diabetes. Similarly, a study conducted by Harvard researchers shows that becoming obese and overweight is a major risk factor in developing type 2 diabetes. These statistics essentially give credence to what we have continually advocated on this YouTube channel. Lose weight and reverse type 2 diabetes. Many people who are suffering from obesity and type 2 diabetes have been taking different kinds of pills without noticeable results. Others have been searching vigorously online looking for solutions, not knowing that the answers they seek are right at their fingertips. Today, I am going to share with you one simple, highly effective, and magical hack to lose weight and reverse type 2 diabetes. The big question is, are you willing to put in the hard work and commitment to achieve that badly needed results? That simple hack is, fast and sweat. Yes! You heard right, fast and sweat. The concept of fast and sweat is not rocket science and indeed something most of us do every day without even knowing it. Fasting is the period from your last meal to your next meal. It's that simple. So. Take for example, if your last meal was by 7 p.m., you slept and woke up by 7 a.m. the next morning. You then made some breakfast for yourself. You would have fasted for 12 hours without even knowing it. Indeed, that is why it's called breakfast. Now that the break fast concept is all making sense, let's take it to the next level. Let's again follow the previous example. If your last meal was by 7 p.m., you slept and woke up by 7 a.m. the next morning and you decide to put in the hard work and abstain from breaking your fast by 7 a.m. Instead, you chose to drink just water while prolonging eating till dinner time, say 7 p.m. You would have fasted for 24 hours on water alone. What if you choose to take this to another level? And you decide to repeat the same concept of not eating or drinking any fluids whatsoever for 24 hours? This is what most people call dry fasting. Now, let's bring in the sweating angle. Let's consider the 24-hour dry fasting scenario. You were supposed to break your fast by 7 p.m. marking your 24-hour dry fasting. Instead, you chose to walk on a treadmill for another 60 minutes. While you walk on the treadmill you make a reasonable effort to sweat. You would succeed in doing 25 hours fasting and also sweat it while walking on the treadmill. And do not forget to record and take note of your weight before you start this process. This will give you the opportunity to experience the magical power of fasting and sweating. And here is the good part. During this period of fasting and sweating your body enters the much talked about ketosis. The human body is extremely smart and copiously intelligent. The body senses your fast, and the absence of glucose then switches its fuel source to the stored fat. To make the energy to keep the body functioning. This is indeed the process that triggers ketosis. Ketosis is a condition in which the body creates small molecules called ketones in the liver to serve as fuel. This occurs when there is not enough glucose available for energy and often during moments of fasting. Typically, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose, which is then used for energy. However, when carbohydrate intake is limited, stored fat is broken down into fatty acids by the liver. Some of these fatty acids are then converted into ketone bodies. These ketones can then provide energy for the heart, brain, and muscle functions. There you have it. Fast, sweat, and allow your smart body to burn fat for energy. The awesome and highly rewarding result will be weight loss, reversed insulin resistance, and goodbye to type 2 diabetes. One effort, two astounding results. Here is the big question. 
Are you willing to do the time and regain your freedom from debilitating health and chronic medical conditions? I know this may seem hard for a lot of people but it's always important to start and take one step at a time. Slowly and surely, you will reap the immense benefit of great health of mind and body. Are you willing to try fasting and sweating? I highly recommend you try this. And feel free to share your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Also follow the link in the video description for additional information and resources. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and most importantly please subscribe to our channel. That way we will continue to bring you great contents and more health tips. See you on the next video.